In this problem, we're considering Arizona's population and a model for Arizona's population. And uh, we're asked to approximate the instantaneous rate of change in Arizona's population in 2007 by using h equals plus or minus 0.5, plus or minus 0.1, and plus or minus 0 0.01. Uh, you should have six rates of change to help you with this decision. Now remember, um, h simply means it's, a, it, it, it's the same thing as um, find, saying f find points that are 0.5 units below and above the 2007 year, plus or minus um, 0.1 years above or below 2007, and 0.01 years above or below 2007. So h is just a fancy mathematical way of saying, just find points on either side that are that distance away, and then calculate the rates of change between those and the actual population in 07. Okay, so what we'll do is rather than having to um, build up a huge table and, and, and show these six rates of change and how they're calculated, what we'll do is we'll just summarize them. So, um, well, what does it mean to, for h to be point zero, plus or minus 0 0.05? If I were to set up a table, my inputs would be, um, well, one would be for 2007, which is seven years after the year 2000, so that would correspond to a t value of seven. Um, now if I wanted to pick years that were half a year apart from seven, one would be six and a half, and another would be seven and a half. So that's what h plus or minus 0.5 means. Plus or minus 0.1 would be um, 6.9, that's 0.1 units away from seven this way, and 7.1, that's 0.1 units away this way and then 6.99 and 7.01 would be 0.01 units away from 7. Now we would have to, here's where we would ideally find our actual population of Arizona. We get all these numbers and write them down. But rather than having to do that and having to longhand round all this stuff, what we'll do is we'll just um, plug this guy into our calculator, negative 1.9x to the third power um, oops, my decimal did not go where I wanted it to. Um, plus 25.9 t squared plus 78.2 t plus 51.83 and I believe that should just be 5183.3, it looks like there's a small typo there. Um, it should just be this term right here and not this term. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is we're just going to say, well, we want to start by finding the rate of change between the points that are half a unit apart. Uh, excuse me, not that one, but 7 and 6.5. And so we're going to get finer and finer approximations of that rate of change just to make sure that things look steady and stable. And the way we'll do that now is by calculating our dip change in the output. So we want the output when t is 7. So we'll go to vars, y vars, function, y1. And the output when the input is 7 is whatever y1 is evaluated at 7. Minus vars, y vars, y1 evaluated at 6.5. So remember, these are output values. So the output at 7 minus the output at 6.5 divided by 7 minus 6.5. That's the formula for rate of change. And we get 168.025. So we get 168.025. I'll write that off to the side here because I think it might get messy. And just as an important point, we want to make sure we know what the units of this thing are. The output is the number of residents in thousand, so we'll say thousand residents, um, and the out in input variable is the year. So this is uh, telling us that Arizona's population is going up by 168,025 people per year in the year 20 in the year 2007, which is quite big. Now, rather than have to do this all again by hand. We're gonna, we already know we want to keep this one fixed, but we're going to change this one to 6.9. And so we'll come down here and change this guy to 6.9. And now, voila, we have another rate of change between 
these two points now, and that rate of change is 162.881, again, thousands per year. And now we'll do it between 7 and 6.99. So I'm just going to insert a 9 by doing second delete 9. Don't just hit delete or else it'll wipe it out. But second delete, we'll put it in there. And then second delete 9. And then we'll hit enter. And we see that that's 161.63981. So now it's kind of like, we think to ourselves, okay, well, does it, it doesn't quite seem to be leveling out as fast as some of the other ones do. Is it, is it 160? Is it going to be 159? What is actually happening right here? How quickly is the, the rate of change changing? Well, uh, in order to see what happens on the other side of it, now we'll take a look at 7 and 7.01. Now, as long as we don't change where the 6.99 and the 6.99 are, we don't have to worry about changing the equation, we just change this to 7.01. And remember, this is why we say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, if you think about it that way. Because as long as things are lined up, it doesn't matter which one you call y2, which one you call y1. And so now on the other side of it, we see that the rate of change is 161.35981. One thousand residents per year. Well, what just happened? Well, our rate of change has to be somewhere between these two points here, 161.6 and 161.4. So if we kind of visualize this um, graphically, well, let's see if our graph will allow us to see it right away. No, we have to change our window settings a little bit. Well, it starts at 5183, and it gradually starts to increase. So at 50, or uh, at uh, in 2007, as we're calculating these rates of change between nearby points and the point of interest, and then we continue doing it, well, we see that that rate of change is, is actually reducing, reducing, reducing until right at that point, well, it's got to be somewhere between 161.6 and 161.4. So what might we guess? Uh, well, we're told we should have six rates of change, so let's just complete this. We'll now do 7.1, and then we'll do 7.5. So that's 160.081. And then we'll do another one, which is going to be at 7.5. So now this is half a unit above. And see what happens here. So it looks like the rate of change that the population growth each year is getting a little bit smaller. Now it's 154. We don't really care what's happening out here. We just want to ensure that there's a consistency in our slopes. It looks like they are decreasing until right around here we're at about 161. Uh, we'll just leave it at point maybe 4 since that's somewhat halfway between 161.3 and 161.6 and this is 1,000 residents per year. So at that moment, um, the population is increasing by 161.4 thousand residents per year.